Now, when you think of Eritrea, what comes to mind? Many things, but probably not an amazing investment opportunity. This week, the Eritrean embassy in London hosted a roundtable discussion on the development of natural resources. They want the world to know Eritrea is open for business and are calling on entrepreneurs to invest, particularly in the country's mining industry. The discussions were also a chance for business leaders to share their experiences of investing in the country. Fox Africa caught up with some of the attendees. I think this kind of meeting is important in the sense that shed some light on the story of Eritrea. As you alluded to it, Eritrean is described as the North Korea of Africa. One of the attendees did mention that they are quite far from each other. I think this meeting gives the opportunity for people to share their experiences about Eritrea and talk about the shortcoming as well. I mean we talk about the shortcoming of Eritrea, which we are not shy to talk about. I think this kind of event do help to highlight the positive side of it as well as the challenge that any developed country faced, including Eritrea. Eritrean living in the diaspora can also invest in natural resources of their own country, which could be used for the benefit of their own people. What have been presented here today is bring many questions rather we should ask the big media house, the BBC, the CNN, you name them, even the upcoming one, even the African channel. Why are you not showing what have been presented here today? Because that alone will show that the country is actually doing positively from the negative.